be a dangerous thing and it will be unfair for God to put us in this complicated world that is made up of all kinds of people and then give everybody a will and yet not grant us access to superior wisdom. Being a sign and a wonder I wrote here demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. Being a sign and a wonder demands an encounter with the wisdom of God and the power of God. There are many people who have encountered the power of God correcting all kinds of things in your body but most people have not accessed superior wisdom and let me tell you the truth wisdom is connected to mighty works behind every extraordinary manifestation through the life of the saints is this mysterious wisdom of god show me a man who has accessed the wisdom of god or have mastered the dynamics of drawing forth wisdom from god i show you a man whose life will be an unending wonder everything that the bible shows as a result of the works of god he credits it to his wisdom he says how mighty manifold that works in wisdom thou hast made them all most believers are bankrupt of wisdom we have education because you went to school and you passed through a system, learned along a field of study and you were certified. And with all due respect, most people believe that their lives will magically change because they are holding certificates in their hands or their lives will magically change because they are people of wonderful maybe character and that is important. Or their lives will magically change because they feel they are old enough to get a job or old enough to make progress. In light of the decadence in our world, in light of the sentiments and the prejudices in our world, none of these things have the power in themselves to give you an edge. The edge of the believer in this bedeviled world is access to the will of God, access to the wisdom of God, and access to the power of God. You want to become a sign and a wonder, includes your church, your family, your children, your endeavor. You are going to have to tap into a higher way there is a way that cement right unto a man the Bible says but the end thereof are the ways of death you have tried the way of sending a text to an uncle and say can you give me a job you have tried the way of borrowing money and you have gotten into trouble you have tried the way of trying to just use publicity materials to say come to my church these things are not wrong you are a sincere person trying it but I'm proposing to you tonight that God wants to give you a gift that ends ordinary living in your life it, that when you a man accesses the wisdom of God nothing about his life becomes ordinary again believe me when I tell you this there is always a signature that he has followed a higher way you can trek to Lagos that is a way that leads to Lagos you may arrive you may not arrive you can use a bike to go to Lagos you can use a car and go to Lagos and perhaps you may be a victim of armed robbers on the way perhaps because of bad road or bad weather it can affect you perhaps something can happen to the tire there can be a mechanical fault are we together but then you can take a flight that is another route that someone can be on his bed sleeping and you tell him goodbye I'm going to Lagos and he says I'll wait for you there and you leave in the morning and later on in the afternoon he just stretches himself and jumps into an aircraft and in 50 minutes exactly he's landed in Lagos and you still find him still sleeping in another location while you're on your way going the difference is not the sincerity of your heart you are both sincere people but you have chosen different routes based on the resources available are we together now listen very carefully so the man who is on the road sweating imagine a woman with three or four children all making noise and disturbing everybody in the car but you are limited to that based on the resources you have then the driver can decide to park by nine o'clock and say he feels there are armed robbers if you are courageous come and carry the car and take the other people to lagos or the driver can say i am tired i either drive sleep on the way and kill all of you or we are patient till five o'clock before we continue the journey 
he will just apologize but many things now are at risk because you you are, you could not get there at the time you wanted to two things the method of transportation you chose that is a reflection of the resources within you am i to get, are we together now whereas another person you can find children jumping in the plane disturbing people but they are still going at that pace because their parents made a choice for them and they are benefiting from that choice crying but on their way 50 minutes exactly and they're in lagos they arrive there and you can have the time you can arrive happy people greet you they are cautious on your way home what is the difference now i'm not i'm not from a physical standpoint i'm not looking down on this too i hope you understand me i'm just showing you the superiority of the routes trying to contrast what the lord has said you can choose a path to life that makes people hate jesus by looking at your life now god will honor you because you use your will to choose that choice to make that choice and so it's a life of hardship a life of struggling up and down pain no victory one battle after the other for the rest of your life or you can make up your mind and say i have spent 25 years of my life trying this route i have spent 30 years of my life trying this route now i want to choose a more superior path the way of the lord the way of wisdom and then you align with god's way ladies and gentlemen you can take a flight with god that in no distant time you can arrive in ministry arrive in life you see there is nothing like too late with god too late is relative to the path you take are we together now now do you know as powerful as flight is even in physics there is something called telepathy where you disappear, you are not, and you are in a moment. At least your sci-fi movies have it, and then the Bible also tells us a few men who manifested that. Are we together? You are not, and then you are in a moment. That, that is a possibility with God, that a man can walk with God and choose that level of wisdom, and that by the next moment, God does something in your life that people will have to call you and say, listen, I do not know you going to harbor lists. I do not know you collecting charms. What is responsible for this kind of result? And you tell them, no, I didn't, I didn't meet a herbalist. I found out that there is a level of wisdom that can come. Ah, please believe me. Please believe me. You do ministry with that wisdom, get ready to, to soar in a flight where your life becomes an inspiration to many. You ignore that wisdom. And see how hard your life will be and see how much of pain you will accumulate all through your lifetime with my life we'll raise your banner high we'll shine your light so bright we'll see Listen, I submit to you with all humility. I look at my life today and I look at the bits that God has done and is doing in my life and this ministry and it can only be the wisdom of God. I can tell you points in my work with God where I will show you how to tap that wisdom shortly. But when that wisdom comes, like a visitor knocking at your door, you know that with that, vi with that wisdom, victory has come. With that wisdom, a solution has come. 
until his word came the lord tried him you remain until the word comes but when it does come you have found your way out of any situation do you believe what i'm telling you because i'm saying that because many of you right now most of your prayer point is shrouded in one word confusion what do i do how do I, I know what i want i know what i desire i know how to move from point a to uh, i know that i should move from point a to point b but how in the world am i going to cross this red sea how in the world am i going to leap over a wall how in the world am i going to run to a troop that midwives where i am and my place of destiny the answer is found in the wisdom of god We raise your banner high, I shine your light so bright, I'll sing in honor of you. I will raise your banner high, I'll shine your light so bright, I'll sing in honor of you. I look at the thousands that are gathered today, tens of thousands and many following across the globe ladies and gentlemen what you see happening in this ministry is not just the effort of a man is the simplicity of tapping into wisdom wisdom that is not Sophia wisdom that is not human I remember many listen 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 I have shared with you once upon a time we went for a crusade and the money to even pay the venue to pay the hotel and pay the transport was not there same God same people no wisdom you can call it process no problem all things work together but the missing link was wisdom the wisdom of God we held that crusade that time where less than maybe less than 50 people can you imagine that less than 50 people there about did the best we knew how to do but the missing link was tapping into the wisdom of God. Yet there were visions of nations. Yet there were visions of mighty things. Do you know that in that vision you were there? But how were you going to come? The wisdom of God. Did I know you? Did I know your address? Look the burden I would have to go through looking for you one by one. Leave that to the wisdom of God. The resources you need, the influence you need is hidden in accessing the wisdom of the Spirit. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? I want God to really change your life tonight. It's a miracle service, but you listen. Because many people just shout amen and go back and nothing changes. When I was praying and I heard that freedom, I knew that what most people need is how to access the wisdom of God. I told you, one time the Lord came to me and here was the revelation. He said, son, this is a strategy for you. It's not a strategy for everybody. You would do it and it will not work because it is the wisdom of God that is connected to his will for you that is why blindly copying is a, a recipe for disaster hallelujah and here's what he told me carry your teachings audio teachings that time we didn't have any sound to edit you listen to some of those teachings you need a lot of endurance Powerful revelation, but with all kinds of noise, sometimes the volume will go up and down. But that was what we could do at that time. And yet he said, take that teaching. He says, put it online. My angel will take it to the nations. And with it, I will announce you the wisdom of God. That childlike obedience is what has birthed this level of influence that you see today. Now, somebody will blindly go and do that and put everything online and all you will get is an insult from people. And who do you think you are? People just insult you until you withdraw it back because to you, you are just copying in the flesh. It did not come. That is not the strategy allocated for your victory. Never take any step until you know what God's will is and you have received the wisdom to make what he has said come to pass. God can give you a vision and in that vision you will see a, a duplex that is God's will for you he's saying I want to establish you let me tell you what most people do they